So people ask me, Harley, what do you think about the Lance Armstrong USADA is going after Lance, and now Lance has uh, pulled back his legal defense team and, and says, I don't want to fight the accusations that USADA is putting against Lance, that Lance was uh, guilty of doping practices during his seven Tour de France wins, and USADA now wants to strip Lance Armstrong of his seven Tour de France titles. What do I think about that? Uh, as someone who's used to race in Europe, and who's raced a lot in the last 13 years, and I've even trained with Lance on a few occasions, and I've... If you're not doping, if you're not on the hot sauce, you're not going to fucking keep up. Period. Like, there's... At professional sport level, you have... Yeah, you've got a few clean athletes, which is really rare. Um, you know, everyone's on caffeine pills, pseudoephedrine. Everyone's using a... Getting a TUE, a therapy therapeutic use exemption forms from the doctors so they can use subutamol or certain corticosteroids like you can you can rub you know sand or salt in your testicles get a rash going on go to your doctor and they'll prescribe you some corticosteroids which you can then use to eliminate fatigue and pain in your legs and if you test positive you can show them your TUE exemption form and you're okay if you don't have that you get a two-year ban so the level of doping is just how it is everyone's on the fucking juice of some level be it caffeine pills a TU exemption pharmaceutical product or if they can afford it, the real good hot sauce like the EPO, things like that. I don't recommend those things, personally. I don't recommend those things at all. Because we know that you do drugs, man, you're going to be paying later on in life. Yes, you will perform better. And at professional level, at the top level, I'm talking world-class people who are famous, if you're not on the hot sauce, there's no fucking way you're going to keep up. Maybe in archery. Maybe in lawn bowls. Maybe. But cycling, swimming... Running, there's no fucking way you're going to be setting world records or winning the big purse races unless you are fucking doped to the gills on the best hot sauce around. That's just that's just how it is. And people are welcome to debate that, but those people who debate that are either lying or they've got no fucking clue what goes on at the top level. I'm not saying anyone who dopes is a bad person. I'm just saying that's a business choice, professional choice. That's just how it is. If you're not doping, you ain't going to fucking win shit. Except for your local 5k race that has no prize money, <laughs> like I'd, I win. That's just how it is, man. But, you know, it's uh, drugs as part of society. The person who drove my lychees, the, the truck driver who drove all night long to drive from the, the Florida farm up to New York or whatever, would be popping caffeine pills or whatever to bring my lychees to the table. Drugs as part of society. I'm not saying it's a good thing, I'm just saying the sooner we can acknowledge that drugs is just how it is, and all the superstars are fucking juiced to the gills, man. All the Olympic superstars juiced to the fucking gills on the best hot sauce. Either government, state authorised, or through personal doctors and stuff like that. If you're not on the juice, you ain't gonna win anything big. Simple as that. You're not gonna be front page newspaper clean athlete ever. Except for maybe archery and lawn bowls. I admit, yeah, they're the professional sports where you might be able to be clean. But even then, people are taking beta blockers to lower your heart rate. They're taking stimulants to focus the concentration. So you've got low heart rate, focus concentration, better aim. So we're still doping in those sports. What's to do with Lance and that? It's, uh... He's not cheating, man, because everyone's on the same page as him. Everyone's on the same page as Lance, and I think it's a waste of money, taxpayers' money, etc., to chase Lance... When Lance has done such good for cycling in general, even the mosquitoes have been screened. Even the mosquitoes agree, I think it's a waste of money. Like, everyone with a fucking half a brain knows Lance is on the hot sauce. I don't, I, you know, definitely, my opinion, yeah, definitely. I don't think he's a bad person for doing it, because that's pro sport. That's what you choose to do. Everyone else at the top level is doing it. There's no one in the top 10, top 20, top 30 in Tour de France who's riding with no hot sauce. <laughs> you, can't, you can't, man. You can't put out those watts per kilo. There's no one in the Olympic finals swimming or running who's not on the hot sauce. You know, if you're finishing the same lap as everyone else, you're on the juice, man. You're fucking on the juice, and that's just how it is. And again, it doesn't make someone a bad person. They're not cheating because everyone else is on the same page. It's people like you start just trying to pretend that everyone else is clean, but I think they're just pissed because Lance has passed over 500 doping tests. Lance has been cool with that, T tested, you know, okay, tested negative in over 500 doping tests. And I think USADA's just pissed that that indicates how shit job USADA's doing on doping. You know, that's because the reality is so many athletes are getting away with it. <laughs> um, 
because the, the technology in doping is just so advanced. And I think it's just a waste of money chasing Lance. Waste of fucking money. We could be spending that money on, you know, showing how much drugs are in NBA or NBL or, you know, basketball, baseball, things like that. Why are we going after cycling? Hasn't cycling already had enough? I mean, people pretend it's only cyclists dope. And then, like, marathon, the world marathon champions don't dope. The, the World Cup soccer players don't dope. They're, they're totally clean. Only cyclists dope. It's like, bullshit, man. All your World Cup soccer players and all your top runners, everyone's fuck, swimmers, tennis players, basketball stars, gridiron, NFL, everyone's fucking juiced to the gills. Anyone who's a champion, hot sauce, assisted, 1,000%. I'm talking big names. I'm not talking your orienteering champion or whatever. I'm talking big names and big sports, big contracts, juiced to the gills, 1,000%. So just so I'm clear on that one. So what do I think about the whole issue? They're going to strip Lance of his seven Tour de France wins. I think it's... And then who are you going to give it to? You're going to give it to the next person who's on the hot sauce. It's not... Lance isn't cheating. He's not cheating, man, because everyone else is on the same page. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to take for society to understand that, that drugs is part of society. You know, it's almost like the, the mainstream status quo wants to pretend if we catch a few athletes... If we catch a few cyclists on drugs, then we live in a clean society. Meanwhile, we'll let fucking... Yeah, certain countries have fucking nuclear weapons and all shit like that, but we'll distract ourselves and uh, go after a cyclist. Let's not get people cycling to work now. I don't know, man. It seems like the world is against cyclists. Um, you know, don't bring your bike here, don't park your bike there. The world, something about cycling is that status quo people freak out about that. And uh, we having a chat the other day, someone said, oh, but yeah, only cyclists use drugs, Harley. I'm like, fuck, you got no idea, man. All your swimming gurus and swimmer stars and your wheat bix packet superstar athletes are all hot sauce to the gills to get that you know Wheaties packet contract photo. That's just how it is. And uh, so, should we allow doping in sports? No, I don't think we should. But what we should do is just uh, let people know that that's just how it is. It's business as usual. Just like the truck driver who bought my light cheese was probably pumped up on caffeine pills to stay awake. If you can't get the job done, you lose your job. Everyone's drinking coffee, doing cocaine, Wall Street, whatever, to, to do the hours, the crazy stuff to get the job done. Athletes do the same. They do the, all the hot sauce and stuff to get the job done. If you can't do it, your sponsors aren't going to go, wow, you should finish 40th in the Olympics marathon. That's really cool. They're going to go, great, here's a pair of free pair of shoes, maybe. You know, like, they want winners, man. They want people who are smashing the records. That's just the world we live in. So if you took doping out of sports... People probably wouldn't watch sport because in NFL, people would get a sore leg and, and pull out instead of popping some painkillers and some human growth hormone and back next week. So waste of time, waste of money going after Lance. Everyone's on the same page. Lance isn't a cheat because everyone else is doing it. That's just how it is. Post your comments and questions down below. What do you think of the whole ordeal? And uh, sorry if I've burst anyone's bubble that they thought that you can win an Olympic gold medal with no drugs in 2012 because not in the mainstream sports you won't be. See you later.